Welcome to the last week of October analysis for NZD USD. We are on the daily time frame, as we can see. We are we are seeing the trend. The trend is a downtrend. So the market has been doing um, lower low and lower high. So far, we see that the market in the daily time frame is last low, that's the high high, and then now it's doing a low that is lower than the previous low. So we call that a down trend. Basically, as traders, what we want to see, we want to see that price is in a trend when it's in a trend that's an easy market to trade so let's go down to the four hour time frame uh, to see uh, what we can see for trading so this is week one this is um last week of october and this is as you can see price was bullish today monday and then the markets open as we can see price is right here so let's go to four hour time frame okay so now this is a little bit a little bit more if we trying to take trade in this market it give us as a better idea so let, let let's do this go back to daily time frame i'm gonna move this here because that's the weekly that's the the start of the week for our time frame as you can see today what the market did the market's open and this is the line we put to put last time we were together as you can see we are expecting price at some point either to get to that ema uh ema 50 or to that four hour resistance to continue to go down so we put that line here that's what we're expecting from the market. All we have to do is to watch the market to see if it's if it's doing it. Is it possible that the market don't do it? Of course. So remember. Now, if we were last week, you can see the markets come down here. You could have it give you confirmation. This is a, a weekly uh, support. Price was here, open. It give you a confirmation to buy the market this morning if you are in the market this is a confirmation right here to buy the market to bring either to this ema or all the way to up here as you can see price been going up since this morning price open as you can see price is up market is open right now price is right here so this is telling us that the uh, first four hour Oh, candlestick open here and well, it's closed above the 50 EMA. When the other candlestick open, it's open, go up a little bit. Now it goes down. We have 11 minutes for this candlestick to close. Uh, most likely, this candlestick might uh, close above that EMA. So, uh, most likely. So, if we, we're looking at this right now. There is possibility for a short trade, but it's up to you what you do. We're not uh, here to tell you how to trade, but as you can see, price is right here. And if we go down to even one hour time frame, we can we can look at the market right here. As we can see, price is been in a short up trend right here. It's going up, and as you can see, price right now. Is fighting the 200, uh, 200 EMA in the one hour time frame. So even though four hour time frame gave us the, the, the this bullish candlestick close above that EMA here, which is the 50 EMA in the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame, as you can see, price is fighting that 200 EMA, which is tough to break in 10 minutes. Could it? Could that? Could that candlestick go up and close above? Is if it's close above that 200 EMA, 
that telling you us that hey price might continue to go to that uh four hour uh, resistance that we have up here so let's go to 30 minutes as we can see all right so 30 minutes is in an uptrend as well we can see price been fighting right here when we know right now because this is this area here look at that area and then we're gonna go to the higher time frame and see what's happening so one hour time frame we can see hey price is, is fighting this 200 ema that's why when you go to the lower time frame this is you can say oh even though it gives you confirmation that it might go up price is fighting it because in the one hour time frame we have the 200 ema in the four hour time frame we have the 50 ema that price is fighting so we can't take any trade right now most likely if i'm in the market i would love to see a, either confirmation for price to hit that ema because it's in a downtrend in a four hour time frame so if it's hit that ema close below it then that might be a confirmation this is a bearish and also confirmation that price might continue to go down you can take a short trade or if it's close above it's telling you he might get to that ema or to that uh, uh four hour resistance right here and then we have confirmation price rejected right here three times already one two three times if i get here this is that, that would be uh the time to go in um and for a uh, sell in the market so we wanted to give you a quick review and look at the nzd usd pair uh so that's what it looked like this week and then we'll see what happened from beginning of november